Welcome back to Tusculum University and we're excited about our spring semester and season two of TU TV episode one. Nick, thank you. We're excited about learning about catching you doing good and uh, Professor Heather Aluge is here with us today. We're in the Garland Library and we're going to talk about how you can help move our institution forward in a positive way by simply being good. So let's go talk to Heather. Here with Professor Illusion, she's going to talk to us about a really neat idea that she came up with and how we can perpetuate goodness and how we can be kind and, and help one another. And I think all of you have heard me say and heard our faculty and staff say it's really Tusculum's about embodying a spirit of us and how can we help one another succeed. So, Heather, talk to us about catching someone being good. Right, so the Caught You Being Good campaign is all about r recognition. So um, this isn't to say, oh, we've got this new campaign because people aren't doing kind things at Tusculum. We are, we have been for a long time. Right. And we've been recognized for that, but now it's a chance for the Tusculum family to recognize each other, faculty, staff, and students for doing things that we should be and are doing already uh, across campus. And so where did this come from? So so that's a, it's a great idea and I thank you. So I hear this may date back to like fifth grade. Yeah. Is there any truth <laughs> to that rumor? We can look back that far. Is that a, is that a campus is, urban legend or is there some truth behind it? It sounds like one, but <laughs> my dad was in the Navy so we moved around. I went to 10 different elementary mm. schools so I have kind of like little flashes of right. memory yeah. and one thing that's stuck with me all of these years was the Caught You Being Good yeah. campaign that we had at Capitol Hill Fifth Year Center wow. in Oklahoma City, so Oklahoma. So great, it is true. Yeah, custodians and teachers and the principal, they all had these little pads with the carbon back. Yeah. If they saw you picking up trash or picking up someone's books or they, wow. saying something nice to someone, they say, oh, what's your name? You know, like they caught you caught doing you. something yeah. like, and yeah. then they would write it down. Yeah. And then in homeroom, we'd be recognized for it. For nice. doing so, so, so on a university campus, what are some of the, so if a student said, how do you, you know, how do I do good, right? How, what, what would, are some examples mm -hmm. that you would look for in selecting um, in the nomination box? If, if someone nominated someone, tell, tell us what you, what are you looking for? Well, it could be what we consider smaller things, I guess, like picking up trash, helping to keep the environment clean, right. holding the door for someone who's on crutches, helping an elderly person to their car. Right. Um, but also larger things like taking someone to the doctor if they don't have a working vehicle right. or um, donating some clothes to someone. And I know that like we should be doing these things already without the recognition but it's nice i think yeah for people and people are kind of like wanting to recognize the things that they see because this announcement came out at like 11 30 yeah. today yeah and, and you've like already got one right? at 12 57 someone submitted one wow. already and it's a really good one um uh, Jessica Small, who I think is a math major, yep. I haven't done all the research, okay. um, was nominated for taking a woman and her, her two daughters who attend Tusculum to class every day because they don't have a working vehicle. Wow. And so um, That's that impressive. was already like, you know, a couple of hour in, we already had a nominee like this. And these are the kinds of people that I think this program will help recognize. And I, I do think that so many of our students like Jessica, I had not heard that story. It, it gives me as the president who's often on the road and away from campus, the opportunity to just also attribute a thank you card. Thank you for doing whatever the act, in Jessica's case, helping a, a fellow student and their children so she could obtain her educational dream. And I'm incredibly impressed every day on this campus by the the heart and and just the, the sheer goodness of our mm -hmm. students. We have unbelievable kids and we also have uh, incredible faculty and staff. So students that are watching this, it's not just for your students uh, or your fellow students. We also want you to nominate a faculty or staff member that was caught doing something good because sometimes they're our unsung heroes, right? Professors that are here. I often see folks leaving this library at 11 or 12 o'clock at night, and I know they're here tutoring students and working with students, um, whatever it may be. An administrator, somebody, a coach that went above and beyond. 
make sure that you recognize those folks because it's really, really important that we show the world just how special Tusculum is. So, now, where will the boxes be? There will be one box at the circulation desk in the library and one at the card swiping station in the cafeteria. Two good places, yeah. But also there's an online form. Okay, um, perfect. And you can also email kindness at tusculum.edu. We have our own That's an awesome email domain. address. Yeah. So just walk around and instead of looking at your phones, look around to see the goodness that people are doing all around campus all the time. Perfect. Well, thank you for bringing this program to us. This is faculty-led, faculty-driven, which makes it even more special here at Tusculum. So again, this is our, our very first episode of season two. Uh, we're excited for a new season of TU TV and we look forward to catching people being good. So it's again, caught you being good nomination form box, find one and fill it up. Thanks and have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.